heading into town. This week is burger week. So we're gonna go to one of the restaurants participating. So far, Food Bar's burger looks really good. It looks very appetizing. So that's probably where we're gonna go. Um, just have to make a quick stop at the nail salon because my nails look a mess and we are going on vacation. Need to get some white nails. Um, Sammy's coming with me. Usually nail salon is like me time. <laughs> but yeah, Sammy's coming along with me. to try this burger. I haven't participated in Burger Week since 2020, I think. That was the last time. So I'm excited to try this burger. It looks really appetizing. So I think it's gonna be good. Let me show y'all what the burger looks like. This is what the burger looks like. It's $14. Food bar looks so pretty. They remodeled it. It's so nice. Nice and colorful. So the burger comes with a Heineken. The burger was very good. There were mushrooms on there, caramelized onions, bacon, um, this like cheesy sauce, and there were two patties. And it was definitely very tasty. All the ingredients worked well together. And um, yeah, I would say, oh, also the sauce that came with the fries, the bomb. I don't know exactly what it is. It looks like mustard, but it's definitely not. It tastes so good. So yeah, definitely I would give it a 9.6 out of 10. The only reason why I'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 is because the patties were smaller than the bun, which is very common in Haiti. Um, they usually do that. I'm not really sure why. Um, you know, so if the patties were a little larger so that when you take your first bite, you're not biting into like the bun first, then I think it would have been perfect. <laughs> There have been a lot of requests for more cooking on my channel. Some people even said do like an actual cooking video and with a recipe and everything. And I'm like, uh, I don't know about that cause child Haitians be going crazy for some Haitian food. They gonna be like, no, that's not right. No, 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 this is how, how it needs to be. So I don't, like, I don't wanna go through all that. But I did make some pan patat the other day and I filmed it and I wanna show y'all how I make it. I do add some rum to the raisins. I saw that online one time and I haven't, been doing it any other way since so i do add some baba cool um, but that's not the traditional you know recipe pan patat is sweet potato pudding i know the other caribbeans make it as well i see jamaicans make it pretty much you know the same or very similar it looks similar to ours sweet potato pudding is one of my favorite haitian desserts we actually don't have a lot of desserts like if you think of all the desserts that we have um 
there aren't too many. <laughs> Your list is going to be very short if you make a list of our desserts. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to um, show y'all how I made it. I made it the other day. Sammy really liked about that as well. So I make it, you know, pretty often. This is what our sweet potatoes look like. Even though you see two different colors, the inside is white. I'm going to wash them, peel them, and then grate them on this side. Okay, so out of all four sides, it's the one that um, grates them the thinnest. This is what it looks like on the inside. So yeah, it's not too much. This is basically all that I was able to get. This is the ginger that I am starting off with. If I need more, I will add more, but I'm going to grate it using this. We have some grated ginger here, two ripe bananas mashed with a fork, and then we have some raisins over there. I'm going to add some babaku to the raisins, just a little bit, not too much. Just let it soak in there. Okay, here are the rest of the ingredients. So we have some coconut milk. I usually make coconut milk fresh, but today I'm just using the can. Then we have some evaporated milk, vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon, sugar, butter, and condensed milk. I have added in all of the ingredients. I also added a little pinch of salt, cause you know, anything sweet gotta have a little bit of salt, just a pinch. Um, but yeah, so everything is added in except for the raisins that goes in very last. It has been 30 minutes, so now it's time to turn off the heat and add in the raisins. So the raisins have been soaking in some Haitian rum. This isn't the traditional recipe. This is something I saw one time and I've been doing it ever since. The raisins are in and since I didn't make a large batch this time, I'm just gonna add this to a small baking pan. Forty minutes later and the pin patat is out of the oven. It looks so good, but you have to let it sit a little bit before you cut into it.